Hello, Mentor Project. And Igalia has been able to participate in this effort. Now, let's take a look at the overall structure of Chrome iOS. This diagram shows the architecture of Chrome iOS. Traditionally, Chrome iOS has used Wicked as its rendering engine. For the new Chrome iOS version based on the Blink, the developer decided to retain the existing Chrome iOS structure to keep using the existing implementations. To support the integration with Blink, they introduced a new content module within the iOS web directories. This module is designed to interact directly with Blink. As I mentioned earlier, Igalia has been actively contributing to this project since it was made public by the committees. Now, I would like to share some of the key areas we've been working on. First, we focus on implementing various UI features such as the file, color choosers, and context menus. We integrated this element seamlessly into the existing Chrome iOS UI to ensure a consistent user experience. In addition, we have contributed to multimedia features such as video screen capture, hardware encoding, decoding, and media recording. We also supported missing functionality, including geolocation, MIDI, and other features. Beyond the feature development, we work on setting up and improving various testing frameworks such as unit and blood tests and web tests. We've also been maintaining the buildable for Chrome iOS on Blink to ensure that the build and test are running continuously. Moreover, we enabled remote debugging support with DevTool for Chrome iOS. Now, I would like to show you a video of Chrome iOS running with the Blink engine. At first glance, it looks identical to the existing Chrome iOS browser because we only replaced the rendering engine while keeping the original UI intact. To demonstrate that Chromium is indeed using Blink, I will show you a CSS Resize demo, a feature that is not yet supported by Recap. As you can see in the video, the CSS Resize functionality works well. However, if you try the same feature on Safari, which is Recap, it doesn't work. So far, we've taken a brief look at the current status of project. However, there are still many functionality that need to be supported in UI features and test games. And also, we need to improve each stability and optimize the performance. That's it, and thank you for listening.